So the first thing we want to do is multiply all sides of the inequality by 3. So we have 3 times 1 half is less than 3 times negative x minus 5 over 3 is less than 3 times 6. That way these 3's cancel and we get 3 halves is less than negative x minus 5 is less than 18. Now we can add 5 to all sides of the inequality and that gets us 13 over 2 is less than negative x is less than 23. Now, whenever we multiply by negative, we flip the signs. And since I want to multiply by negative 1 to make the x positive, so as we do that, we're going to flip the signs here. So we get negative 1 times 13 halves is greater than negative 1 times negative x is greater than negative 1 times 23. Now we have negative 13 halves is greater than x is greater than negative 23. And then just to make it easier to read, at least it's easier for me to read, I like to flip it around so the smallest number goes first. So I have negative 23 is less than x is less than negative 13 halves. Now we can plot this on the graph. And we want to just put negative 23 and negative 13 halves on it. Once we plot those, we have to figure out whether they're open or closed circles. So since there's no equal to bar, we're going to just leave those bubbles on them open. And since x takes on the values in between but not the values themselves, we shade the area in between. And now that we've sort of visualized this, we can write it in interval notation. So because both of the circles are empty, we'll have two parentheses. We only use brackets when the circles are filled in. So we'll have parentheses negative 23 comma negative 13 halves close parentheses. And that is the solution.